assistant professor from School of Computer Science and Engineering. It's been a pleasure to have supervised Meng Yang on her FYP project. Hello, my name is Li Meng Yang, the main developer of the Code VQL project. If you are a software developer, have you ever faced this kind of question? This is Kelvin, a software developer is about to comprehend this given software, which has a set of historical versions hosted on a website such as GitHub. Kelvin might have example questions like, what are the new colors to a specific method introduced in certain versions? How is the color called a graph in the software changed from version to versions? These questions are difficult to answer. Some of them might be manually searched from version to version, but it is error prone. Some of them are not possible to find out the answer without a high level comprehension about the software. These are the typical questions in traditional static program analysis field. It is commonly used to identify code smell, comprehend programs, find bugs, and perform security patch analysis. But there is no existing tool that can answer Calvin's questions because they are cross-version. Cross-version analysis itself can be separated as the software history analysis. Now, we creatively combine these two types of analysis together. We come up with Code VQL, a query analysis language that is able to perform cross-version static program analysis. Now, let's see how Kelvin's question can be addressed by Code VQL. Code VQL provides a web interface that looks like this. There are four main components. Firstly, an input area that accepts a GitHub repository link. Secondly, a drop-down list where a list of sample GitHub repository links are available. Thirdly, a code editor to input the code VQL query. Fourthly, a run button to trigger to analyze with GitHub repository specified and code VQL query written. We input an example GitHub repository link and input the following queries. The query means to find any color that appears in the selected version v2 and did not appear in the selected version v1. And the color invokes the specified method circle.getArea, whereas v1 is specified by a unique software version identifier generated by Git, and same as v2. The code VQL grammar is completely designed by me. The design of the language specification is inspired by the structured querying language so that it is familiar to most developers. For example, keywords like from, select, and where. In addition to SQL, we define new sets of grammars. For example, the object-oriented way of perceiving the facts, the range statement for setting a variable on selected versions, the reasoning operators, and the statement for defining version variables. The define statement supports arithmetic operation on commits. For example, selecting the second parent or the second ancestor of commit A. Now let's see what happens inside the run button. And the following pipeline is designed and implemented by me. The selected GitHub repository and the code VQL query is firstly transferred to the server and the server invokes the code VQL command line interface with the given input, which automates the code VQL internal execution. Firstly, the input code VQL query is translated into programs in Souffle, which is a logical programming language that the analysis engine can understand. There is a main Souffle program that contains the major part of the code VQL logics. It looks like this. It declares souffle variable according to the from statement, defines the output structure according to the select statement, and translates the where statement to rules for computing the output. There are some other souffle programs for computing the versions for version variables. Secondly, the program fact extractor computes the program facts for the GitHub repository on selected versions. The result of the program fact extractor contains a list of fact files for each version, 
We then combine the fact files from each version. An example of combined file looks like this. This is the caller code E fact file. Thirdly, the history fact extractor encodes the Git graph into a tuple attribute format. The result is a single file that looks like this. The first row means that version with ID in the second column is the version with ID in the first column's first parents. After that, the result produced by these three components are parsed into the Souffle backend engine for analyzing. And the Souffle engine produces the eventual result. The code VQL execution result is shown here. To understand the result, a simplified part of the input repository git graph is shown. There are two colors that invoke circle.get area in v1, the first handler.main and second handler.main. And there is a new color that invokes circle.get area in v2, which is the third handler.main, which is exactly the result shown by code VQL. Code VQL will be open sourced and deployed as an online service. Eventually, we want to integrate this into a software hosting platform such as GitHub. Code VQL impacts how the software developers interact with, learn from, and build upon software histories for better and more secure software applications. It also inspires more source code analysis tools to broaden their views at cross-version analysis with the idea that the software is not developed at once.